Good morning, Stanton. How are you today? It has been a while, but I have a treat for you. Viewers of my channel may already know that in the last big in-game purchase that I made, it was a ship that was decided upon by the help of all of you. I took some suggestions, I held a draw to decide what to spend my hard-earned money on, and I ended up with a brand new Hercules A2 bomber, a ship that I loved because for me, for my playstyle, not at all what I would have chosen, not really practical, but I went with it because I knew I could find something interesting or fun to do with it. Uh, and after some planning, I've come up with an idea for something for one of my first videos using this behemoth and potentially the only video, more about that in a second. We are just loading into the verse now and when we get to the Habs, I'll explain a little bit of what I had in mind. Also, before we get into the actual gameplay, I'm going to switch your attention to some very recent news about the upcoming 3.17.2 patch that will make everything I'm about to show you a bit of a moot point, possibly. There's going to be some wipes happening in the next patch of this game. This will include, apparently, all items and your wallet. What does that mean for you as a player? It means the money will be reset to your current starting amount. So if you use a referral code, like the one I have displayed here and in the link below, you'll be starting with a bit of bonus money, but all current earnings are going to be wiped. This also means if you've lost everything, uh, you're going to regain back to your starting money. The wipe of the items will also mean you'll lose all guns and armor that were looted or purchased in game, all the different clothes. Uh, when you do any type of patch update or character reset, you always lose your food, and ammo, so that's going to be gone regardless. The reasoning for that, I'm not sure. Uh, there have been a few exploits that people have used that have been hopefully fixed, uh, making a lot of money in ways that they maybe shouldn't have. There's also been a few changes to the games and things that maybe need to be reset. However, unlike before, this is not a total loss as reputation will remain. Originally, there's three databases now, money, items, and reputation. It looks like reputation staying but money and items are going. So what can you do to prepare? Honestly, not a lot. Uh, I'm unsure if ships remain, but just in case, I'm going to be spending any money I have on a new ship before the patch, and hopefully the A2 here will stick around, but if not, I'll be starting from the bottom again, which is why this may be the only video you see me really using the A2. Uh, so you're going to be able to join along with me, starting again from the bottom and earning my way up. Also, if you have anything in your hangar on the RSI website, ships you've bought with real money, as well as any gear or items, those you're going to retain, and they are safe. And if you've had those items, and you've lost them in-game uh, due to a death or due to them being stolen, those are going to be returned. So there is that. There is the ability to get back items. So right now, use your items that you're worried about losing, because it's really not a big issue. They're going to be coming back. Uh, and everything else, don't worry right now about earning money as much as just practicing playing and enjoying the game which is always my focus on this is do what you do to enjoy the game don't focus on earning money because it's not permanent at least not for years to come so i'm going to be adding a link to the spectrum post below also so now back to what may be my one and only experiment with this a2 i bought okay Waking up in our Habs, we are currently at Wide Forest Station, which is located at Arc Lagrange 1. And you'll notice as I get out of bed, I've got a message that pops up at the top of the screen here that I have 13 jobs done at this refinery and ready to go. That's right, I've been busy mining for a few days, and I just wanted to see how massive of a payday I can have delivering goods with the A2. By no means would I ever recommend this or normally deliver this much refined goods at once. But for you, my friends, I'm risking it all to see what happens, good or bad. Even if I get pirated, if I lose it all in the game-breaking bug, I'm going to be showing it all here so you can see what happens. So first things first, I want to explain to you why I think this is a bad idea personally. Mining is great because I find it profitable personally. I do wait quite well on it. Uh, more importantly, I do enjoy it. However, unless you sell raw materials, it's not profitable until you sell those refined goods. It's actually costing you money to do the refining. Uh, you can't sell them here at the station. You have to head down to a city, and seeing that I'm at Wide Forest Station, the closest, best place to sell is Area 18 on our corp. However, this route is also known to be used by miners going between the moons and the station, and traders, so it's quite commonly a place where pirates are going to set up snares to catch ships. So it's not necessarily the safest route to sell. The A2 may hold its own, uh, so but I'm not really wanting to deal with other ships, not wanting to fight. This is normally something that I'd sell with smaller ships like Cutlass Black to reduce 
the chance of losing a large number of jobs, uh, while also having a ship capable of possibly defending itself. Just arriving at the refinery deck now, and quickly heading up above the store to the terminals. Logging in, I see I have 13 jobs, plus another small one that should be done soon. I think I did my math rate and figured I should have enough to fill up the ship. I did mine a few small jobs, hoping to use those tiny jobs to fill up every last space possible on the ship with cargo. When I first load up the screen, I wanted to scroll around, and I'm trying to hit that little bar on the bottom with the mouse and drag it around, which is how I've always scrolled around. Before recalling that one of you commented that I could just use the middle mouse wheel and use that to scroll the screen. So thank you, whoever said that for me. What an awesome tip. That has made this so much better. You can see there's a lot of jobs here ready to load. Almost the entire mount is Quantanium. There's just a small amount of Boris in one job. I'm going to start loading with the largest job. So if you are mining, different refineries are good for different types of materials. If you look at the top left, you can see some here that will get a bonus, like 2% bonus on a Grecium, and some will lose like the 6% gold loss if you're refining gold here. The largest jobs I have here finished are 3,040 units. These are from 100% full prospector runs that were found at this location, which are 3,200 units. So you're going to lose about 160 units while we're finding here. That job still returns uh, quite a good profit. Uh, I'm using the Dinix method, which is slow, uh, but it refines the most goods. A full load for Dinix of Quantanium will take almost two real-time days to complete. I think it's about one day, 18 hours, and that is real-time. So if you're going to be doing this, you have to be willing to to do the mining one day, come back another time, and to sell the refined goods. You can stop a refinery job at any point, but stopping it loses everything else and just gives you what's been done so far. Starting with the largest job, I first start transferring over the goods. Each time, being careful to move the goods into the correct ship. I'm choosing the A2 here, although the Nomad keeps popping up first, so you have to scroll down and choose the A2. If you have multiple ships of the same type, let's say you have two cutlass blocks here, make sure you're putting it into the same ship every time and not splitting it between two ships if you don't want to. You can't take items out of one ship and put into another currently. In a prior patch, you could choose a ship and then click multiple loads at once, but it led some issues with cargo duping and possibly exploded by quite a few people. So this slower method was introduced uh, where each time you have to choose the ship to load into for each job. Once the larger orders are transfer, which was anything over 2,000, I started to work down to the jobs that were smaller, fitting everything in that I could. At the very end, it was down to just over 3,100 units of space, empty in the A2. I could have added a job containing 2,021, but that would have left too much empty space in the ship. So instead, I took these two smaller jobs that totaled together at 2,679, leaving me with 444 free units of space for a job. I had one more of 392 that I could store in there, and that left me with only 52 units of space. You can't put any job that's larger in there. So I didn't have any jobs that were below 52, and I didn't want to take another job, start refining, and stop it in time. I was quite happy with only 52 left. That is as close as I can get to filling the ship up in its entirety. At this point, the ship and the cargo are still pretty much safe and secure. The only thing that would cause you to lose this cargo at any point would be a character reset or the upcoming patch that I just talked about. That would reset cargo, also resets refinery jobs. So nearing the time, if we know when the patch is going to happen, don't do any uh, refining. You're going to lose all those jobs anyways. Now back to the terminals. I thought this would be a good time to be at least a little bit cautious with my goods and not just cross my fingers and hope for the best. So I took out my trusty nomad and flew to our corp and back. If there was a snare there currently, I would find out pretty quickly. The snares can be set up that you could be hit in one direction or the other, so it's always good to check both directions. The distance is only about 2.8 million, so the time between taking off and returning to the station and landing was only about 5 minutes. I returned to the terminals, took out the A2, and this time there was a very slight chance somebody could have set up a snare, but I feel a lot more confident that my cargo is going to be safe. The ship is out and this time in a hangar and not on a pad. So it's at least protected from pad ramming while I get in and power up. The elevator to the ship is still a bit weird. You'll notice there's that airlock door that the elevator raises through that doesn't quite open and you just kind of melt through it. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't actually uh, affect you at all. So I just ignore that and we head into the ship. I didn't bother looking into the cargo hold as there's not much to see because for some reason, refined quantanium never shows up 
and it just shows up as empty in your cargo hold. I don't know if that's because it's a gas and maybe it's stored somewhere else in your ship. Unsure about that. There may have been a few boxes of bores. I wasn't sure at the time, but that would have been it. My hold may look empty, but I can assure you the cargo is still in your ship. So if you're doing quantanium mining and you transfer everything and you walk over your ship, you think it's empty and you try taking another ship out or you try claiming your ship, you're going to lose it all. Just because you don't see it does not mean it's not there. So got into the pilot seat, we power up and request a takeoff. I'm not used to flying this massive ship, so I take it slow. Luckily, when you pull your ship out of storage, it's pretty much centered, so I'm not going to hit the doors on the way out. Once in the space, calibrate to R-Corp and hit my jump. As you can see, this is a fairly short and simple jump to the planet. It's not going to take too much time at all. Once arriving, I wait for the short cooldown. It's only a few seconds, and then I aim and jump to the city. While flying, let's just enjoy some of the amazing planet views as we fly over here. This planet looks awesome. And this is where luck was starting to be definitely on my side because our corp spaceport is not always easy to find. And of course today I'm arriving at night, which normally makes things much harder. It's usually a good idea to orientate yourself upright and then press F4, then while holding Z, look around and see if you can find the spaceport. But right away, I notice out of my windshield, directly below me is a spaceport. I saw its distinctive red and white, even in the dark, and I'm flying right towards it as we speak. There was no looking for it required. Incredibly lucky that that's where I arrived. I called and had my hangar assigned, and I started approaching. With a ship this big, I don't know its stopping power, and I'm not used to it, so I'm keeping my speed under 200 coming in as I lined up. I have plenty of time, not really worried about the landing. Once on final approach, you can press F4, Hold Z to get to a good position of the camera. Mouse wheel while holding Z if you want to make the camera farther back of it. Find a good position to make landing easier. This is a massive ship, but these hangar doors left plenty of room and it was a breeze to land. Once landed, engines are off, I can breathe a bit, my cargo's fairly safe and secure. I'm going to take the ladder this time and go down to the cargo hold and look around. You'll see there's no boxes here, so not only is it quantanium, but the Boris doesn't seem to be physically showing up currently either. Stored my ship, and I got onto the tram heading towards Air 18 proper, and this is a city I love. If you love Coruscant from Star Wars, if you love Blade Runner, the inspiration you can see is heavy in the design of this city. This city just looks beautiful. Look at this place. Look at how amazing this is. Just, I would love to explore more of the city. I just wish you could just walk for kilometers in the city and just explore everything. It would be amazing. It would be a place that I would never want to leave. I would just live here happily. Once in the city, I'm going to be heading to the Trade and Development District, also known as the TDD. The tram itself does have a glitch. You may notice when you're passing over that bridge to Astro Armada, the train will stop momentarily. Don't worry about this. It's, it's fairly new, and it seems you can still move around, and the car will start up again in a moment, and then you can arrive safely at your destination.
Once out of the car, I'm heading up the stairs to the right, and then I'm going to keep right to the uh, TDD building. Once there, you can sell your goods at the consoles along either wall. I usually choose the ones on the left, but there is really no difference. It is all up to you. At this point, I honestly did not know how much money I would make on this run. I didn't try to do the math, didn't try to figure out. I was hoping to make about a million UEC in profit. I had been mining for a weekend, so I had been putting in a bit of time, but not really mining a ton. I was just getting lucky finding rocks and finding quite a bit, but I didn't know what kind of profit I made. I'm starting out with just over 277000 in my account, and I'm ready to sell. I'll first sell the Boris. It's usually quite profitable. It's one of the better things to mine if you're not trying Quantanium. But I only have 13 units to sell. So at about 35 units each, I'm only going to make about 457 UEC on there, which is not bad. But then we move on to the main event. The Quantanium sells for 88 UEC per unit. And I have 21,535 units to sell. And the amount I get for them blew me away. Get ready for this. I sold it all for 1895000 and 80 UEC. 1.9 million in cells in this ship. That is awesome. I couldn't believe how much money I made on that run. I was not expecting it to be quite that high. This had me so excited, I cannot believe how much one full load in the ship could be worth, and it just blew me away. Uh, would I do it again? No way. Not a chance. Not if I was trying to make money. Although, of course, for the sake of experimenting, I'm more than willing to try it with another larger ship in the future, with Hauls like this, I may be picking up a new ship before you know it. Once I uh, once I start back over, after the wipe, of course. I do have some plans I would like to spend my money on. But if you have any ideas yourself what I should with these newfound riches, let me know in the comments below. As I stated earlier, with the new patch, while well, I'll probably be getting another ship to see if it survives, I don't know if it's going to. I don't know if all this will be a moot point. We shall see. So, until next time, I hope to see you all soon in the verse. And thanks for watching. And please, if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content. And hopefully, you're going to be enjoying the game till the next patch. Do what you love, enjoy the game, and learn from your mistakes so that when the new patch drops, you can start earning money right away. Thanks for watching, and thank you so much. Goodbye.